Podcast. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Thursday playoff preview Hello. Uh, for this coming weekend's um, VDL Dodgeball Playoffs. <laughs> My name is James Durante, your host for the day, and sitting beside me are Gino, Debs, uh, Raf, Sung, and we are your panelists for today's playoff preview for Thursday nights. <laughs> Um, so without further ado, Raf, read out the rosters for all the teams. Okay, um, so the first match we have uh, Spartans versus uh, Mon Mon's Nom Noms. Uh, the players on the Spartans team, we got Debra C, uh, Zim, um, Mike Kennedy, Nick Malika, Sung Lee, right here, uh, <laughs> Darnell Cooper, and Matt Kennedy. And oh. for... For Mon Mons, we have myself, <coughs> Raf, uh, Monica Liang, uh, Tyson, Brandon, Brennan, and Alyssa subbing for Monica Lee. Nathan, <laughs> yeah. Nathan, yeah. All right. So for um, so what we did for our playoff previews that we predetermined who we felt uh, would win these um these matchups already, and for this first round, we felt that the Spartans would win yeah. the first round. And so these are the, the, I guess the variables that we felt that would be the reason as to why the Spartans would win the first round. Uh, we felt that there's a lot more firepower that the Spartans have. Um, they have a lot more experience. Uh, the, the arms are a lot more fresher because it's the very first round. And with the balls being hard, it favors a lot of the harder throwers. Um, so that's how we felt with um, this first round as to why the Spartans would win. Uh, do you guys want to elaborate on that? I think uh, speaking for my team... I think it'll be hard for us to uh, uh, match their guns, and I think we. I think they can just quickly end the game from the beginning since it's the very first match. Everyone's fresh. Thank so, uh, for me, I would be experienced. Smarts is playing for a long time. Uh, Mon Mons have been playing for how long, Raf? Uh, we've been playing for three seasons now. Three seasons yeah. against like I, I don't season know. Season three for Smarts, I think. They started season three. You guys are old. So, <laughs> so, so twenty three seasons. Twenty three seasons. <laughs> so for me, it would be experience. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and especially playing at DT, which is gonna be a longer gym too, right? Um, looking at Momon's Nom Nom's roster, you guys have, you know, rel in relative to Spartan, you guys have a lot of defensive players, so having an arm is definitely gonna, you know, help us get ball control easier in a big gym too, and that's. On top of that, we have Zim on our team, yeah, so yeah. we're gonna be, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that match already. Yeah, we're gonna kill you some. <laughs> <laughs> and then with the fresher balls, actually Matt Kennedy says his curveball works well with um, fresher balls. Yeah. yeah. yeah so we, we always do well and we're very, very, um, like, um, more energy, I guess you can say, mm -hmm. in the very beginning, because uh, we are old. Yeah. Um, <laughs> are, Excuse me. Um, we are over 30 okay. years old. Except for some and yeah. Zim, uh, but uh, we're fresh and we're energized in the very beginning. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. All right. So although we feel that Spartans will win the first round or this matchup, um, the results can still be overturned if the following possibly could happen. Uh, if Brandon plays really hot, he's been playing well so far. So if he plays hot again, uh, we feel that this could overturn the result. And also if Mon Mon Bon Bon's survives primarily the open rush and has um, ball control because you know the way to mitigate uh, a throwing team is when they don't have balls so if you take ball control then you have a better chance of winning against them so these are the two reasons why we feel that if this happens then Mon Mon Bon Bons can take out the Spartans. Do you want to elaborate? Um, yeah like I said Brandon's wins are playing extremely well in the last two playoffs especially this weekend. That's pretty much about it. He did, he did extremely well by himself. He saved the team a bunch of times. So even when yeah. he's battling the flu as well. Yeah. So he, he was he's still playing really well. He was Imagine sick. Imagine if he's hundred percent. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Even during regular season when we played against you guys, I think the most annoying thing <clears throat> that happened to our team was Brandon blocking everything, getting ball control. That kind of messed up our game. So we started staggering our throws, and that's when you, Nathan, and Tyson even started making catches. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> what are you doing now? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we suck. <laughs> but yeah, Brandon, Brandon has to be the biggest influence factor on that team. Yeah. Uh, so the second series, we have uh, Pinky and the Gains versus k-pop yep uh let's start with pinky and the gains they have uh ivan glavas razvan uh vlad christian uh christine Stu, 
uh, Chris Luco and subbing in for Taylor, they have Ada. And <clears throat> for K-pop, they have uh, Jackie Leung, Kevin Young, Wincy, Giselle, uh, Ian, James, and Victor. All right, so once again, we predetermined who we thought we would win this matchup, and we thought that K-pop would win this matchup, uh, primarily for the reasons of experience. Uh, the ladies, um, Taylor being out for um, Pinkies, and K-pop has been run rock for Thursdays twice in a row for the past two seasons. Uh, would you guys want to elaborate? Uh, I'm trying to think right now, but <clears throat> not having Taylor on that team, I think that's huge. Because sorry, it's Ada that's subbing for Taylor, right? Yeah. They contribute like they, I don't know, like they contribute like a very different thing on the court. Taylor like coming up huge with her catches, like it's crazy. Like yeah. her entire body is the box, right? While Ada, she comes up with, you know, like huge catches at times, but not as much as Taylor. Um, I see her more like team oriented in the sense that she goes for your cover and goes for the sweep as well. But I'm not sure how that's gonna play for Pinky in the games because even during regular season, Taylor barely showed up, but now she can't make it for playoffs. So mm -hmm. yeah, Good. yeah, just a bigger fan of uh, the ladies on J uh, K pop though. <laughs> yeah, Jizz. Yeah, I know. Just, just been playing I very played well. really well. Yeah. yeah. Even this past yeah. playoffs and when I played with her at TOC, oh my gosh, I was fanboying over her. <laughs> yeah. uh, it would be for me experience. Um, K-pop has been playing in some sort of combination in the past also, and they came together what season? Two seasons ago. Two seasons ago? Yeah. Four? No, no it's, not, it's not too far off. But like even then, like in the past, they've been playing together for a long time. Yeah. Some sort of combination. Yeah. And that helps out really well with chemistry, I feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. And they are like uh, the... The past <laughs> season, they did. They are. They did make the finals against Mo Reset. So they're returning uh, for this season, and they're hungry for twice. The, twice, right? yeah, yeah, yeah twice. against Sparta's season yeah. twenty-four. Yeah. All right, and so um, even though we believe K-pop will may win this first round, um, Pinkies may be able to take out K-pop for the following reasons: um, tilt factor. Uh, if they kill. Uh, the K-pop guys early. Uh, if K-pop gets a bit greedy and starts reaching for catches, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you guys want to elaborate? Yeah. Uh, I believe the tilt factor will come down to depending on who, uh, but it's mostly the high throws. That's going to throw a lot of K-pop players off. Yeah. But yeah, it's just going to come down to that tilt factor. The high throws is going to be yeah, yeah. very detrimental against K-pop. Um, they might lose it, and they won't yeah. be more. They won't be as focused as they should be. I don't like. Um, this, this playoffs and um, I think the last playoffs too, I've seen a couple of players on K-pop like Jackie and Victor. Yeah, I'm gonna name them. Uh, you know, greedy for catches. Like they should, they were going for catches when they clearly shouldn't have. Like opening rush or when they're up by like six four, six members to two members or something mm -hmm. like that. So Pinky, Pinky in the games. A lot of the players on that team they like to throw. So if they see an opportunity like that, they might just take advantage of K-pop. Third, uh, this is the third series, and the teams playing are more resets, and recess. For recess, we have Matt Hung, uh, Stella Lee, Nathan Ng, uh, Yams, JT, uh, Cody Burke, and Travis. Travis. So Travis Feldman. The four of them plus Cody. Okay. So more resets. We've got Trong, Jevu, uh, C uh, Val, Byron, Aminta, Carrie, and Titus. Mm -hmm. All right. So for this matchup, we felt that more resets will take this match uh, for the following reasons: um, the C Val Byron combo. They just won the past uh, Wednesday playoffs. Um, this past Sunday, um, they have their their players are more experienced in the sense where. Uh, when it comes down to clutch catching time, uh, more resets have a better experience doing that. Oh, food oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so there, there's a cycle in VDL for Thursdays uh, between the three teams of <laughs> more resets, Spartans, and recess. So usually when more resets play the uh, Disney's recess, more resets beats them. So we also use that it, we uh, that history as well to uh, take into consideration. So that's why we felt that. More resets will take this first round. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Want to elaborate? Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna lead off with a C Val Byron. Mm -hmm. Amazing combo of both sides. Uh, hard throwers, great catchers. Um, it's 
pretty unbeatable in my in my mind. Yeah. So. Yeah, I just played with them this weekend, <clears throat> and we won. <laughs> 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 but there is it's like a sense of calmness with them. Like sometimes you would be up against this really hard team, and then I'd be like, "Oh crap, we're so dead," or whatever, right? And but then they just seem to know what to do, and then we just end up winning. They yeah. just they just know how to win. They yeah. just know how to win. They're really that good. Yeah, I feel like you can insert any people in the middle in the middle yeah. of that too, and they can still win. Yeah. Rock tap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Mark. Congratulations, um, congrats, Mark. Mark. Congrats, Mark. <laughs> don't worry, I'm, I'm cutting that out. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> he won, so it's okay. Yeah, oh. it's okay. All right, so um, these are the following factors for how Recess can um, turn it around, actually. Um, if Yams and Stella play really well, like they have been for the past weekend, and with Travis Feldman just coming back, if he starts playing hot, because he would technically be the hardest thrower on recess, that would also be a factor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. We said based off of playoffs performance this past weekend, right? Yeah. What's crazy about it is Yams was subbing for Saturday and Stella was subbing for Sunday. So yeah. it's oh, technically yeah. a team that they haven't played at all, right? Yeah. But even then, like you can clearly tell that they were carrying that team's ass for some of the games. So, like, uh, yeah, yeah. 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 They killed our team on yeah, Tuesday. Like, Stella <laughs> yeah, played for did. me. I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> <laughs> she's killing everyone. <laughs> Uh, I think even the regular season, you have just been killing it. Not even just playoffs. Mm -hmm. They just there's too much experience with those two. Yeah, so. but like playing on a team that they never played at, like they're playing at that level already. Playing in a team where they like already you know, know. already they know how to play with the other guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. scary. Just thinking about it. <laughs> um, I can yeah, I played mm -hmm. against Travis and with Travis um a lot many times in the past, and he's got a really hard throw. It's at least seventy miles per hour. Mm -hmm. It's relatively like chest to chest shoulder down. level high and uh, he's got this snap where you don't really see it until it comes out so it's really hard and and um, because of his throw and he's just coming back more resets may have a, a tough time trying to figure that out because they haven't seen him in a while like he hasn't he's been gone for two years I think two mm -hmm. or three years so um, that's also one of the reasons why we believe Travis coming back and if he was hot or if he is playing hot then he more resets might have a hard time playing against uh, recess all right. All right, moving on to the, uh, the last series, we have uh, McMuffins versus Hot Pot. Let's start with McMuffins. We got Shane Solberg, uh, Pete Decker, Jackie Alano, uh, Brandon Willier, uh, Jason Peterson, Brendan Menensala, and subbing in for Tina is Donna. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we for Hot Pot, we have uh, Kevin Chung, Sam Cole, Kelvin Chow, Ashley, Lauren, David Cheng. Uh, Enzo's not playing, I believe. <coughs> still knee. Yeah, yeah, still knee injury, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then those are the teams playing the last series. All right, so that was the last series in uh, the first round, and we believe that uh, McMuffins will take this matchup, primarily for the reasons that they have a lot more gunners on the team, and still in the first round, um, the balls are still fresh, so usually the team that has better gunners usually take the first round. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, with Enzo not being able to play, uh, Hot Pot only has four guys. Calvin is kind of injured, has a semi-concussion, um, so hopefully he'll be able to play, but because he's not 100%, that's also one of the reasons why we feel McMuffins may take the first round. I think playing four like four guys is already hard enough and if one person is injured I, I don't really think he and especially against a team that has so many guns yeah, yeah. it's gonna be hard for hot pot to try to beat them especially on the first round while all the arms are still fresh yeah mm -hmm. it's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be tough yeah and also like we didn't mention any of the notes but she's <clears throat> sober guy like just recently winning toc and just playing against him during regular season too, mm -hmm. or even at the RDL tournament, he was coming up huge with his catches, and he just you know, like he goes for the trickiest plays. Uh, he throws the ball at you at the most inconvenient time for you. Like he has a very good um, view of the court, so he, the all the other guys on his team they can focus on oh whatever is in front of him. But Shane, he'll go for crosses if he sees an opportunity. Mm -hmm. He'll go for catches to like bring the other guys back into so that's a scary team yeah it is scary mm -hmm. Brandon and Williard's on the team too yeah. yeah he's um he's been playing really well too catching a lot and throwing mm -hmm. um 
It was really hard. To elaborate on Brandon Hilliard, um, this past Wednesday playoffs, he played amazing. Made a lot of catches, great hits. Um, that's pretty much about it. You just watch the videos, you'll see what we're all talking about. Yeah, against two Cody's especially. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was crazy. All right. Yeah. And so um, if Hot Pot plays with the follower, based off the following points, um, this is how Hot Pot can win. If Lauren plays really hot, like she has been for the past, um, for the past weekend, if Sam Cole plays very stellar as well, and good old David, um, he's gonna be a big factor as well. Uh, his play can make or break a lot of like the teams that he's on. So um, that's also one of the reasons why we say if if David plays really well, Hot Pat can overturn it as well. Yeah. Guys, want to elaborate? Uh, I Lauren's been playing incredibly well, uh, especially these last two playoffs. Um, that catch on Brandon? Jeez. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's, so it's not even yeah. that. It's like every single catch yeah. she's made. Yeah. Uh, saved a bunch of like, saved her team. Carry hot pot so. to the finals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, same no, with uh, Chocolate Factory. factory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I also got to say Sam Coe uh, in Dodge We Trust. Yeah. He played incredibly well, <laughs> made catches and hits. Yeah. And yeah, it's, the craziest part is Sam and Brandon were on the same side of the court, now they're on opposite sides, so it'll be interesting to see how those two play against each other. Uh, I didn't know David as a player, but getting to play, you know, having the chance to play with him at TOC, I didn't realize how aggressive he is. of a player he's he is. Very yeah, aggressive. but like when he's on, he goes for catches. I and like he, that though. Yeah, no, yeah. He, yeah. he goes, what was it? He, he If he sees someone on the other side of the, of the court who's not paying attention to him, he immediately goes mm-hmm. for a kill on yeah. his shoulder, chest, mm-hmm. Like he's really quick on that too. Yeah, he's yeah. very aggressive, but the problem is, I feel like he doesn't have a, a doesn't have a break. Yeah, it's, it's all like, like zero to hundred. All zero hundred all the way until yeah. he crashes. Yeah. But like, when yeah, but when he's hot, like he's not mindlessly throwing it too. He only yeah. does that when he sees an opponent that's like off guard. Yeah, right? he holds the ball. He's very teamwork oriented. He is yeah. Yeah, and he comes up huge too. I think it's like I think some of the miscommunication that happens is like. I feel like the other players are are not fast enough to react with him okay. when he when he wants to make a play, and that's the reason like why sometimes he would throw. It would seem like he's throwing alone by himself, but he already knows that he wants to throw. Okay. Just that the other the other player is not fast enough to react with him. Oh yeah. So next matchup we have um, Mon Mons versus Pinky and the game. All right, so uh, for this matchup, I mean, this is the loser of game one and game. So I guess we say this is like the first round of losers bracket. Yeah, Yeah. this first round of losers bracket uh, between Monmons and Pinky, and we feel that Monmons may take this one, uh, primarily with their ball control and with Brandon um, playing very well, exceptionally. with the whole ball control factor, uh, so that's the reason. Those are the two main reasons why we believe um, Mon Mons will take it against Pinky. Brandon ball control blocking really well this past weekend. We've said before, even with a flu, now we, he's gonna be one hundred percent. He's be ready to go, and just like kill everybody when at their knees or something. Yeah, Brandon with a ball, just he, he's unkillable. Yeah, you know, like a. Uh, Three balls thrown at him when he has a ball. We we always tell people not to waste balls on Brandon when he has a ball. Mm-hmm. It's he's really hard to kill. <clears throat> it's like one of the best blockers in the game. Against Pinky in the games this season, especially, it makes it really easy for Brandon to gain ball control because looking at the Pinky in the games rosters, there uh, only maybe half of them are very like gung ho with their arms. Like uh, I know Stu is a very patient player. Christian's a very patient player. Razvan's the only one that's like very reliant on his arm mm-hmm. and i feel like mon mon nom noms you know like just looking at the roster team as a whole they have a better coverage for sweeping so um we believe pinkies can take this if they kill brandon early and if they establish ball control on their own as well mm-hmm. yeah um there's actually there's no more than to like add to that just just kill brandon that's it i feel um Mon Mon still has the great players, but I feel like with Brandon, it's just that ball control factor. Mm. Yeah, they have balls. Um, Razvan, his his throw is just crazy. Can't uh, stop it. It's hard to catch, too, because it's just super hard. Scary, yeah. too. Right? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, it's, he's pretty hard to hit off the rush, too. Yeah. 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 He jumps, and 
I don't know Sake. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 so the, yeah, the sex game. Yeah, Spartans. Um, Spartans versus K-pop. So for this series, we felt that uh, Spartans would take it, uh, primarily due to um, during the regular season between Spartans and K-pop, Spartans had the upper hand, and they also have more guns. With it's still like medium. It's like halfway through the the playoffs and the balls aren't super soft yet they're still kind of firm so with more guns it means the balls are coming harder and faster it's harder to catch still um want to elaborate <laughs> <laughs> that team is so good <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why they picked me up but like first <laughs> I, know, I remember first week playing with them. I didn't have to worry anything about myself because like they were all going for the guys because they were you know big white dude that throws really hard. <laughs> they were all focusing on him, and I'm like, oh, I can just you know lay back and relax. So yeah, yeah. Just, and it, it's only the second series as well, so they still have a lot of energy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're not tired yet. They're not tired yeah. yet. Yeah, and they sure like to throw. <laughs> they yeah. do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think uh, for me, I think what throws a lot of people off is Malika is a left-handed thrower, and Mike Kennedy. And Mike, Mike Kennedy, Kennedy yeah. that throws a lot of people off because yeah, majority of the players are right-handed. Yeah. So we expect to turn a certain way. Yeah. And when we see those two guys, we're like, we start our body gets confused because our mind telling us go this way, but our body's telling us the other way. Yeah. yeah. So and not just that, like all the rosters on Spartans, they have their own very distinctive throw too, and not just like every player are they're capable of throwing like at least two or three different ways right that, that's gonna throw off a lot of people and mike has knee pads now oh wow why is that a note why is that a note <laughs> yeah i think that's all we have to say okay right. and um so if k-pop k-pop can take this series if um it's i guess it's primarily for the main factor of if victor can survive um against uh because he's a uh, he's the main target on on K-pop, mm -hmm. and Spartans know that uh, after playing against each other for so long, and so if Victor can survive, um, he can help K-pop lead um, them to victory in this in this series. Yeah. Any elaboration? Yeah, I remember when we, uh, the season that we won, Victor like took out four of us one time where we had that breakage in play. I forgot what game it was, but he like caught Matt ball jumping catch, caught Max ball, killed Zim, and then killed someone else and then I and I think it was, it was Matt, Mike killed Mike and then he ended up killing me too and then I read the I the drop cap trying to drop the on yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, and then uh, yeah so, I mean he's capable of killing four people yeah. yeah so he can do it right yeah, he's one of those players that he, when he plays yeah. hot he can mm -hmm. single handedly carry a game mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. great Pick, player Victor's yeah. been on Spartans too yeah, yeah. yeah. So, was, uh, I fired him. He, 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 he says he quit, but I fired him. Okay. <laughs> so maybe he wants redemption. <laughs> okay. Moving on to the seventh match. Uh, this is the winner of the lower bracket. It's more resets versus McMuffins. Mm. So with this matchup, we felt that more resets will take it. Uh, primarily due to the fact that they have more experience working as a team together. And... More resets, they've won four championships on Thursday night, so they just know how to win. So with more resets, um, they've been playing longer than Muffins, so that's the thing. It's just experience. Yep. That's what we, I think that's what I'm going to go for, and I'll stick to it. Yeah, they've been together as a team, right? Yeah. yeah. Forever. Um, and these guys, well, I mean, well, I don't know if Brandon's ever played with um, Decker and, and Shane. But Shane and... and Decker played together, yeah. so they're they're really good together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but, but seeing yeah, for for um, chemistry wise, mm -hmm. more resets. Yeah, sure. seeing the performance throughout the season too, like Mick Muffins, I feel like their performance really fluctuates depending on the mood of the player as well. But for mm -hmm. uh, more resets, although they don't show up during regular season, like on the day of playoffs, like I, they always play at that very high standard, mm -hmm. like high performance level, right? I think it's only like season 24 where they didn't perform at their usual level i think it was season 24 yes yeah Yeah, but other than that i like every time i saw them play i'm like holy crap like yeah. they're so good <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and uh mcmuffins can still take it if we uh if we base off the following uh situations if they make a couple of huge catches uh with 
Brandon Willier, uh, Brandon Manasala, Shane Solberg, and even Pete Decker uh, can make great catches. Um, Aminta is kind of playing injured right now for more resets as well, so that could hurt a little bit of the sweeping and ball control that they might have. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, those are the two main factors that we believe uh, McMuffins can use to help win the series as well. Yeah, I think if uh, McMuffins can take uh, can take away more resets firepower, if they if they if they can push them push them to the back and make them play defensively, I think McMuffins can definitely take it because they have some pretty strong guns on this team as well. Yeah. So for series same. eight, uh, this is losers bracket. We have recess versus hot pot. Mm, okay. So for this one, well, this is gonna be a tight matchup, but we believe that recess will take this one. Um, Primarily because even though both teams have been around for a while, Recess just has that um, better team cohesiveness. Um, and I guess in the past, the last is it the last playoff series, Recess were able to take out Hot Pot in five games. Um, and also, Recess has pretty much they're all catchers as well, mm -hmm. and they do have firepower. So these are the main reasons why we believe Recess will take it over Hot Pot. Yeah. yeah, and also they've been to the big dance before, like the final games. Uh, they already have two championships under their belt as a team, um, so they know that pressure and how they know how to control it. I feel like recess, I like they play they play better as uh, as the the series goes on as well. I feel like every time you take them to five games, like the games are so close, and then you have Stella and Yams yeah, that can make that big catch mm. at the no, end. They seem well. to pull it through right yeah. at the end. Yeah. They're scary. Yeah. 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 And then add Cody Burke to the, the mm -hmm. mix of that. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, we didn't mention it, but missing Enzo, that's going to be huge. Like, because yeah. when we won, uh, sorry. <laughs> Last Tuesday playoffs, I won. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When we won with Enzo on the team. Like, uh, if you watch the playoffs video, he wasn't coming up huge with his catches or like getting a whole bunch of kills or anything, right? Mm -hmm. But he, he knew the court very well. Mm -hmm. He was distributing building the balls very like quickly and efficiently and he's just a very reassuring guy to have on the court and even off the court mm -hmm. with uh, with his pep talk so i think like playing with four guys without enzo that's gonna affect hot pots like morale and teamwork it's gonna be tiring yeah, yeah. <laughs> well to add to enzo uh, he attracts that attention too that he wants and he makes you bait for, to like to kill yeah him. he makes catches like, at the line too yeah, yeah. yeah all the so, time yeah and so uh, we believe Hot Pot may be able to take this series for the following reasons. Uh, Sam Ko and um, Kevin Chung, they're the two pillars of um, Hot Pot, so if they play well, uh, they might have a good chance. Obviously, with Lauren making clutch catches. Um, as long as Hot Pot doesn't play carelessly, uh, they may have a better chance. And if JT, Justin Tu, you sometimes you don't know which which JT you're gonna get. You're gonna get a hot or cold JT. So, um, depending on how he plays, may also make the make or break the series. Yeah, um, Lauren, catching clutch. I don't know. I got nothing. Just, yeah, just, I was, you said it right there. I was kind of worried about her because during regular season she had her injury, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. she wasn't performing at the level that you know everybody's been hyping about. But like for Wednesday playoffs, like she was like. So savage, killing everyone too. It, yeah. I felt so bad for Jen when she made that catch against Brandon because Jen was doing like giving all her effort to like distract her. Like, <laughs> 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 I'm like, oh, Jen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and speaking of JT, like in the pet, like in the finals that they had against. Um, Fucking six o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, for the uh, <laughs> yeah, for for the Tuesday playoffs when they play. Oh, ADC. Play, yeah, ADC. ADC I guess oh, that yeah, lives in funds. Yeah. Like he was so gung ho that he kept getting killed. He kept trading against Zim, Zim at the line, yeah. and oh, yeah. that's not something that you want to do. Because like once he picks up a ball, he gets, he's just gonna want to try to kill somebody on the court, and yeah. sometimes it backfires because. He's and and he ends up trading with a person that he doesn't want to trade with. Mm -hmm. He just came back from a trip too, so he's a little rusty too, right? And um, I haven't been watching a lot of tier one playoffs, like uh, me personally, but I feel like he's one of the players that plays really well on one of the playoffs and doesn't perform as well the next day or the day before. Because mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I realize some players are like that where they can't like where they go ham on one day and maybe the next day like they they're too sore really on their guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I feel like JT is like that. Yeah. And last 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 year's uh, series where they did play against each other, 
It was five games, and it went to it showdown was. between Sam Cole and Nathan Ng. Yeah. So mm. it was could have gone eight either way. Yeah. Next series, uh, this is a loser's bracket still. Um, we got Mon Mons versus uh, McMuffins. Mm. All right, so for this series, we feel that McMuffins will take it, um, primarily because they have more gunners, they have more firepower, and they even have more catchers on the team. Well, I think like um, having guns nowadays with the no reset rule, it um, really makes a difference. It's hard to win with just um, strategy alone, because before, when back in the day, when we just used to reset, reset, keep resetting until we get all the balls. And then we can kill everybody. We can't do that anymore. Um, now it's just guns. You just have to throw really hard. And you know, sometimes when you um, don't have that arm and you panic throw, you get caught so easily. Um, having that gun uh, really makes a difference. Um, so I, that's why I think that they would take it too. So uh, for me to add to that, yeah, like you said, um, now they have to like they have to think more about where to throw. Yeah, it makes them more smarter. And like, I'm going to hit your foot no matter what because I can't reset, so I got to do something, yeah. right? So, all right. And so for Mon Mons to have a um, chance at winning this series, we feel that um, because they've been around as a team for a lot longer than um, McMuffins has, they have better team chemistry potentially. Um, as long as they survive the opening rush with all those guns on the other side, they uh, might uh, be able to establish ball control. And also... Uh, with Monica Liang on Mon Mons, she has that double catch on Shane Solberg on the other side. So that might that might be in his head. I don't know. But, uh, you know, it's always there. Every time you get double caught, it's always in your head there. So uh, do you guys want to elaborate on that? That was a really good double catch there. <laughs> also really good at sweeping. She too, is, so yeah. She, she doesn't let a ball go to the other side. So yeah. they got ball control. Can't. Can't kill anybody. They and have balls. Yeah, and with Monica Liang, like she goes for each catch. She knows where the balls are going. Mm -hmm. She still has a good like vision of where they're going. Yeah. It might not go her way. It might go, her, and when it does go her way, mm -hmm. she brings mm -hmm. back. Let's say Brandon, who gets hit out first, right? Mm -hmm. And that's gonna be like the big factor because he'll get ball control with Brandon right there too. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Series ten, and we got K-pop versus Reese's. Okay, this one's a close one. Yeah. Um, but for this one, we felt that recess will take it. Um, for the main factors of the Yams and Stella combination, they have been playing very well for the past um, couple of nights. So we feel that they might come big. Uh, team chemistry wise, recess has been around for a while. Uh, when it comes down to it, they do have better team chemistry than K-pop. Um, they also have better catchers overall than K-pop. And um, yeah, so those are the main reasons as to why we believe Recess will take it over K-pop. Um, for me, it's going to come down to the girls. Like, yeah, Stella and Yams. Uh, Yams, I've, after I watched all those SDL videos from Debs, um, Yams played extremely well. <coughs> it was insane how many balls she was getting back. Yeah. No rebounds were going off. They, they stayed at their side. And now, obviously, this past weekend... The bunch. Same exact same thing. Yeah, the bunch. Catch too. Oh yeah, Stella made a huge catch during Saturday playoffs too. I'm not sure if it was recorded or not, but pretty much like a ball bounced off her chest yeah. and it was about to touch the wall over her head, but her bun got in the way, so it didn't touch the wall. <laughs> she got it and she caught it and what was it? It was against netball and chill, right? I had it like the last part of it, so I didn't Yeah, so yeah. the yeah. player on the other side didn't see the bun part, so mm. they were so angry. They were like, oh, that touched the wall, but everyone on the <laughs> sideline were like, nah, nah, it's a clean catch. Well, <laughs> that's the thing with experience. They exactly know where the balls are going to go. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they, don't, they don't lose track of it. Like, oh, it pops up. They're not going to like look the other way. They know where it's going to go. Too. Yeah, yeah so. that's crazy. I never knew what the practical use of that bun was because like, it's kind of unrelated, but it reminds me of Dr. Seuss character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And save you a catch. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, on the other hand, we feel that K-pop can still pull it out for the following reasons. If Giselle and Wincy play significantly well, Giselle has been playing well for the past couple of playoff um, nights, and she just recently won a what is it Wednesday? Mm -hmm. A Wednesday, Wednesday. Um, title, and also. If Victor and Jackie playing the corners, um, if they play hot, uh, K-pop can um, possibly take this one as well. Mm -hmm. Do you want to elaborate? Uh, K Young's on the team, right? And K Young as well. I think we forgot about K Young. Hard throw, so that's 
you already have a gun on that side too, and Ian's been playing extremely well too. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Ian played well. We, oh, yeah, right. we haven't mentioned him at all. I don't think the last few times. Yeah. He was making a lot of catches. Yeah, the chocolate say. patches. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So yeah, still on blocking too. He's like oh yeah, so oh yeah. Blocks. When he blocks, he really like, could block. He just stays there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. probably I would say maybe top five VDL blockers in the league, Ian. Ian? Yeah, Ian Parker, one of the top five right now. Oh, K-pop right now, right? How do you one? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like Wincy has numbers on a lot of the VDL players. Like, oh, she comes out huge with her catches. Like, against out of, out of town teams, like, a little higher throw. She's not really good at reacting with those, but, like, any balls below, like, waist level or even mm. lower, like, she'll come out yeah. huge with her catches. She'll protect Victor, too, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And she makes catch. that catch on yeah. the line. Yeah, the it's always on yeah. Thursday playoffs yeah. that she makes those catches, so too. Good. So, yeah, there are going to be catches. Mm. Hopefully, I didn't jinx it, but, like, <laughs> looking forward to it. Right. Giselle yeah. is making catches, too. Remember she made two catches on us uh, in Benny B. Beachy? I don't yeah. remember, because um, I Brandon, wasn't playing. <laughs> against Brandon. No, you were. Was I it? wasn't, because, like, remember, you got caught back in, and I, you thought oh, yeah. I was going back in. You're like, <laughs> I was like, you're back in. <laughs> no, that's I was like, awesome. oh, damn, I had to be showed out there. <laughs> <laughs> trying no, to play yeah. the nice card she, she made two catches remember she yeah. caught Brandon first yeah. no Tyson first and then she caught Brandon yeah, yeah. Um, you can see if you yeah, go right. to the video you can see the reaction of James <laughs> yeah, yeah, when yeah. Brandon got caught slamming his towel onto yeah, the yeah, ground yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's really good I gotta see that <laughs> okay. make, make sure to include the video she's actually catching a lot now too so yeah, yeah, be- yeah. before she wasn't making as much catch but now she's kind of scary to throw it. Yeah. All right. I feel like um, every player on that team can have a big game, and I feel like Victor, since uh, like he hasn't he hasn't really played well in the last uh, last weekend, I feel like there's a big game coming up mm-hmm. where he can carry a game and cause some upsets. Yeah, that was um, the tier two <laughs> playoffs. <laughs> tier one. Tier one. No. Tier two playoffs. <laughs> tier one B. <laughs> Two of these, yeah. All right, next, next, next. Um, Eleven. We'll go back to uh, winners bracket. Mm-hmm. Spartans versus Mo Reset. It's gonna get better. All right, no. so uh, this is winner bracket final, right? Winner bracket final. Spartans versus Mo Reset. All right, we believe that Spartans will take this one. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, primarily for the reason that in the past, according to Debs, from what she told us, um, whenever Spartans and Mo Resets go at it. Spartans usually gets the upper hand um, when it's early. Um, so that's one of the reasons. And the second reason is with Sung being added onto the team, he adds a little bit more of aggression compared to some of the other Spartans that have played in the past. So that could throw off a little bit of more resets his game. Do you guys want to elaborate? Also, Sung uh, adds a lot of catching to yes. Spartans too, which we don't have a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got yourself then. What's your what's your what's your I'm usually just just die production Nick. <laughs> Uh, what? Nick has like three lies. Zim dies first, and then I die next. <laughs> well, yeah, well, and then Nick it blocks that. <laughs> I don't know in the past. Like I've seen like Mike Kelly make these weird catches where he was just like standing yes. at the back and like catch by his knees. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like why is the ball block? there? Yeah. Wasn't I forgot what game it is. He made a block. Then he tried to block it, it just and then it just goes in. <laughs> <laughs> and it happens more often than you think. Uh, like he makes these really weird catches where it's like so unexpected, and then he's like, oh, "Okay, I'll well, take it." Now that the balls are softer in this, yeah, year, so, yeah. Like, they're coming, they're coming. Man. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and some will be playing. You be, I guess, some will be playing in the middle. Uh, it'll depend. He ball matches. Yeah, he ball matches. Yeah. I don't sure. know. It's yeah. so scary. Oh. Sure. <laughs> yeah, we have yeah. strategies. Snake man. Snake man. Just yeah. join them and go. <laughs> strategy. Yeah. Yeah. When you try to slow them down, that's when Matt gets caught. <laughs> <laughs> By yams. Yeah. Um, so, Mo resets can still take it uh, if uh, for the following reasons. If they get sung out pretty early, because uh, we feel that since sung will push up and dictate um, the mid game. If they can get him out early, that'll push some of the Spartans back a bit more, and they can apply more pressure. Um, at the same time, uh, Spartans, the best way to get them off their games is when you catch their balls, especially this during this time when the balls are a lot softer. Um, so when they start throwing catches and making those silly trades, um, that's one of the best times for more resets to capitalize and take the series. 
Yeah. Um, I think really what's going to kill them is the Spartans is going to it's the trades. Definitely not worthwhile trades. Um, you lose a ball, you lose one of the best throwers in the league. I think. Uh, like uh, great guys, like uh, very <laughs> chill. Like uh, they were so intimidating. Like before I joined the team, and they were they re- they really know what they're doing too. Although it's a simple strategy, just go up yeah. and throw. Um, but I've seen a lot of situation where they got caught pretty easily too. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, we always seem to make that one mistake. Um, you know, we usually have it in the bag and then someone gets caught. Some, yeah. Uh, and know, then it brings back, yeah. brings back their best player and yeah. then we die. We crumble yeah. and die. So, yeah. um, Steph's throwing that catch against the Ams yeah. by herself. <laughs> that, that was a reset. You were ready. You were yeah. ready. That was a reset. <laughs> <laughs> it was a reset. Yeah. We were too up uh, to nothing. It was okay to lose yeah. one game. <laughs> yeah, and if, if more resets can take away, uh, if they kill Sung and Zim uh, in the beginning, and that'll take away the ball control that Spartans could potentially have. And if, if you take it away, if they don't have any balls to throw, they can't really do anything. And mm-hmm. the balls are getting softer by yeah. this time. Yeah, yeah. Huh? we yeah, Spartans do not like it when the balls are really yeah. soft. <laughs> but yeah. we do also have the best sweeper from Winston Summer Draft. Oh yes, let's see. Okay, but she can. She's playing shield for the Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she got her best sweeper yeah. by shielding for Victor. Yeah. All the balls. The ball just like hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that. <laughs> Accidental swing. <laughs> All the other players. So you were just there. <laughs> <laughs> series twelve, yeah. Series yeah. twelve. We got McMuffins versus Recess. Yeah. Losers mm-hmm. bracket. Losers mm-hmm. bracket. Mm-hmm. Okay. So for this one, we feel that Recess will take it uh, for the main reasons of um, they have a lot more team experience. Uh, we feel that like mid to late game they play a lot more controlled compared to how McMuffins may play um, during the late to, the mid to late games yeah do you guys want to elaborate yeah I feel like um, with the just looking at the past the last weekend's playoffs um, there's a lot of guys in on McMuffins that they're pretty tunnel vision with their play they would once they get a ball they'll try to throw right away well I, I agree like, with what you have to say for uh, yeah for recess <laughs> It's this set, right? Yeah. Okay. But uh, for Disney's recess, like they're all familiar with how to play with each other. Um, and also, they have Matt and Nathan Ng, like two guys that are really good at adapting to the, how what the team is doing, and a very supportive guy on the court, right? No. For uh, Mick Muffin, I I only see Shane Solberg capable of doing that. And a lot of times, like, when I saw McMuffin during uh, regular season, it seemed like the right side and the left side, they were a little out of sync, and the throws were staggered, too. So there's going to be a lot of opportunity where, I don't know, like, recess, like, Yam, Stella, St- Stams, or what was it? <laughs> Yella. Yella. Yella can take Yella. advantage Yella. of that situation, <laughs> too. So. Um, yeah. For me, I'm going to elaborate on what Sung said, Yams and Stella. Um, two of the smartest female players on the court by themselves mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, great sweepers they know how to block they know where to aim for your foot yeah. that's the mm-hmm. scary part it's a dip throw too yeah. Yams especially yeah. Yams yeah. has a counter she, she just counters you when yeah. you, when you she's, throw yeah. she's not yeah. scared to make those throws yeah. either so that's the best part yeah. they're vicious pump fakes too yeah <laughs> so scary though I know like, a person shouldn't move like that on the court like yeah. but it does mess and up. so um, McMuffins can still take this uh, for the following reasons if we believe they can kill some of the guys off the opening rush early uh, to mitigate some of the, the Disney's recesses firepower um, McMuffins do have more guns and also, at this time of the playoffs, the balls will be a lot softer. So we believe that Shane Solberg, Ben Manasala, and Brandon Willier, their main catchers on McMuffins, will be able to uh, take it, or may be able to take advantage of the softer balls and make more catches against Recess, who doesn't have as much firepower. Mm-hmm. Um, so it'll be to their advantage uh, if this happens. Yeah. Anything else to elaborate? Yeah, just uh, the rosters on the McMuffins. I feel like, um, especially the guys on that team, like they're making. They're capable of making big plays, like big catches and big hits and whatnot. Mm. But, um, you know, like looking at the... If the balls are going to get softer, I think it will just make it easier for the guys to make those big plays. 
Next match, loser is, bracket final. Yeah, loser Ooh. bracket finals. This is uh, recess versus more resets. <clears throat> All right, so for this matchup, we believe that more resets will take it um, for the following reasons. Uh, once again, history re repeats itself with the whole triangle of the three teams. Um, more resets usually has the advantage over recess in the past. Um, between the two teams, we feel that more resets um, has a lot more consistency in terms of their playoff performances. And they do have more clutch players on more resets. And their teamwork is on par, but based off of the other um, points that I just mentioned, we that's the reason why we believe more resets may take it. Um, we mentioned in the past, Seaval Byron Pillars. That's it. I'm, I'm going to go with that. That's the combo you, you need and you want on your team. And also, so. Disney doesn't have Rob, Rob Shee anymore. That's uh, huge. I mean, it is. Yeah, sorry. Two oh, pumped. I miss yeah. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Rob, Rob, if you're watching this, we love you. <laughs> come back, come back uh, before that's the a... next Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the that's a duo. Usually, yeah. um, I think for recess, it's Rob and Justin. Yeah. You always see them at one and two. Um, right now, it's just Justin and I guess Stella who's running up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah so, but yeah. Yeah, they left their one-two punch. How are they going to battle more resets? One-two yeah. punch. This is the first season without Rob, right? Yeah. yeah. So we'll see how it turns yeah. out, too. At the same time, it's, it'll be a close matchup, but if recess can do some of the following, then we believe they may have the upper hand. Um, if their catching is on point, because that's recess's main game, catching. And at this, once again, we've mentioned many times, at this time of the series, with playoff balls getting a lot softer, catching becomes a huge thing. Um... JT and with Cody, if they get hot with their um, with their throws and their accuracy, they may have a good chance of winning. And of course, with Yams and Stella, with their past uh, playoff performance, um, they can always pull off the big games and make the big plays. Um, yeah. Any elaborate on that, or just are we okay? Or? Yeah, having Rob gone is like mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it'll be hard. It, it doesn't feel the same recess anymore. But having like uh, what was it? Cody, Cody, Cody Burke, JT, and also Travis. 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 He's not on the roster for some odd reason. <laughs> like that's kind of, <laughs> yeah, oh, but man. now I feel like they actually have that arm to retaliate against like Byron and Seavell's arm too. Yeah. Like and although you know more resets, like they're known for their arms. It's mm -hmm. they, it's you know like ultimately Byron and Seavell they they have to watch out for. So mm -hmm. yeah. and even Cody, if he's like. Yeah. Not 100%. He's still pretty he's good. He's still good. Yeah. He's still really he's good. He's really good. So, yeah. recess, like, not, you know, like, they, there's more than catches that they can rely mm -hmm. on. They can rely on their arms, too, now. So, yeah. yeah. It gives them more option for a comeback or, like, to put themselves in a good position. Yeah. yeah. The Final. grand, the finals. finals. <laughs> it is uh, <clears throat> Spartans versus Mo Reset. All right. All right. So, with this one being the finals and with more resets playing backdoor, we felt that more resets will take the finals, which will make it go to grand finals. And in grand finals, we believe that more resets will still take it. Uh, based off the following reasons, uh, they'll be playing off of momentum, so they'll be having a lot more games compared to the Spartans, who will who'll be resting a lot and setting off a lot. Um, once again, with the balls being super soft at this point, more resets does have a lot more catchers compared to the Spartans. Um, they'll be a lot more warmed up. And Jay Vu, just sorry, Jay, not Jay Vu. Jay Vu, that's Jay. Jay, 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 Jay. Jay, he's I think he's running off of a um, ten season win streak. So every season that he's played for the past ten seasons, I believe he's won at least one title. So he doesn't want to let that go. He's gonna keep that going. Mm -hmm. And usually, if more resets and Spartans play twice the triangle, the triangle yeah. then more resets will take it so based off of these reasons why we believe that more resets will beat Spartans um, I got really nothing to add other than like what you already said in this just momentum yeah um, yeah Spartans gonna be sitting off like oh just gonna chill and hang out and just, and there's you just it'll just see like more resets playing every other game and then now their arms are completely warmed up the balls are in their favor at this point, I think. Yeah. 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 
Also, uh, Spartans can't seem to finish sometimes. Uh, we had, <laughs> since I started with them, since season nine, I've had six runner-ups with them. Jeez. So, um, two t two titles and then two six. titles only, and then six runner-ups. But I think they've had more runner-ups before I started too. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, so whenever we're in the finals, um, most likely we don't win. <laughs> <laughs> There's a twenty-five percent chance in a fifty-fifty game. <laughs> You're up against Byron and CB. Yeah. yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. I feel like we haven't really talked about their middle players at all. G with G Jay and Tron mm -hmm. and Titus. Titus and Titus yeah. and their rotation. Yeah, and those those three they, they can make some really big catches in the late game, especially Tron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some for some reason you always make that last catch of the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the end, where he's the the last one, had soft glasses, glasses off. off yeah. <laughs> and the the balls in his hands. The balls so in like, his hands. Like I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, like also usually strategy is like kill off Steve Allerbyron first, or try to get those guys off first, and you leave Tron by himself, makes that clutch catch, brings one of those two guys back in. Oh yeah, and they had the balls. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like very athletic guys, like capable of doing anything. Like he, even before I started playing freak, uh, more frequently in tier one level, like just watching Steve and. Mainly Seaval, like, um, he's a late bloomer during playoffs. Like, he starts off, like, decent, but at the end of the day, at the end of playoffs, it feels like, you know, he's all warmed up too, warmed up too, but if he, it all, you know, like, he has the other teams figured out, like, and it's not just him, he's kind of, he's talking with his entire team, oh, we gotta <coughs> switch this around, and uh, a total team player, and knows the game very well, and capable of destroying an entire team by himself so yeah and it's changed into his winning shirt already yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true so even though in grand finals we pick more resets to win it uh we still believe spartans has a, a still a, a good chance to win for the following reasons if they end early before they start gassing out because usually a, a team like spartans who always just like to throw they do end up gassing out and as long as they make smart throws and not throw into the box or throw muffin top, uh, muffin throws, um, they might have a good chance at taking out more resets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think we said earlier, silly trades. Now they got to make smarter trades. Um, yeah, just make those smart trades and they can definitely pull it in. I don't like trades, period. Like, no trades. Yeah, no trades. Good trades. <laughs> good trades Unless only. it's like me on... Seabell or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I mean, like smart trade, right? Like, no, no trades for Coop though. Yeah. <laughs> Never. Coop or anybody. Don't either. trade Coop. Because we need the guys yeah. to, to yeah. be alive. Also, I have to play very well or else the GM of Spartan's gonna fire me. Oh, we be teamless man. for next Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, son. No pressure. <laughs> uh, the K-pop may be looking for a half Korean, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. You want anything, ref? They managed to like kill <clears throat> CB and Byron at the beginning. I think they they can win. And then you kill Trong right after for that. Yeah. Make sure that he doesn't get that clutch catch. Yeah. Because those those are the two that's gonna carry the game. Yeah. And then they just have they just need to be careful when when finish when finishing the game and throws like throw together. Like if they they just need to be on the same page when they're throwing because one wrong move and somebody's gonna make that catch to bring one of those two back. Yeah, I think that's their chance if they want to win. They just need to throw smart, be like have some patience, but it's hard for Spartans to have patience because oh. once they pick up a ball, they just want to throw. Yeah. Power dodgeball. Yeah, power, power dodgeball. Ball. That's, that's what, what throws people for. off though, right? We're not yeah. structured, so you're yeah. not expecting us. They're like, oh, no. they're going to yeah. wait. They're like, nope. No. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Some people will try to go for a sweep because they, oh, they only have one ball. They're not going to throw it. Zim that has the ball, she's never gonna try it. She's gonna go to the line and yeah. throw at you while you try to pick up that ball. Alright. Anything else? Last final words? No. Words? Debs. Debs. It's your team. Uh, we can fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it up or fuck shit up. <laughs> you can do just both. Kidding. You can do both. Yeah, it yeah. just depends. Right? Yeah, it's a toss-up. Yeah. Toss both, like, both teams can play bad. Exactly. Then, it could be a sweep. Well. <laughs> yeah. Like Spartans, like they have a chance. Like we if... slept more resets that one season when we won, right? Yeah. Like, three yeah. Nothing, three they could yeah. sweep. Yeah, but um, we could die too. Anything yeah, can happen. Yeah. We can get O2'd. Mm -hmm. We can yeah. get 
Yeah. Or Mon Mon's take it all the way. <laughs> <laughs> I believe. I have to plug it. I have, to plug it. <laughs> I have faith in my team, guys. Yeah, yeah Spartan was O2 before, so yeah. you know, no. it's very capable. No pressure, son. No pressure. <laughs> you guys never know. You might yeah, get I creamed think we were on. Yeah, we top seed. Mm-hmm. We huh? got O2. We were top seed that one year. Good. All right. So thank you guys for uh, watching, and we hope you enjoyed this Thursday night playoff preview. Uh, once again, my name is James. Gino. Debs. Raph. Sung. And we were your panelists for tonight. And hopefully you guys enjoy the playoff videos on Debs' channel. And if you guys are... Oh, yeah, me. Debs, plug in. Oh, uh, my channel is Deborah C. Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go do it. Like, share, and subscribe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Shameless promotion. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot, guys. And see you guys later. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.